Spanny all the way out in the bay We waited for a fair wind to get underway The sailors all drunk and their backs are all sore Their rum is all gone and they can't get no more singing Row, row, bully, row them Liverpool girls They have got us in tow One night up Cape Horn we were rotten the line When I think on it now sure we had a good time she was diving about under the sailors all wet. She was doing twelve knots with her mates, guys, who said, sing and roll. Roll, bully, roll, them Liverpool girls, they have bad in tow. Very well to our captain, where Eddie may be, he's a friend to the sailor on land of sea. My great adventure started at the Admiral Benbow Inn which my mother and I ran together after my father's death. It was a lonely place in a cove under the cliffs, not far from the great port of Bristol. And so the great adventure started. On the strength of Captain Billy's map, Squire Trelawney determined to set sail for Flint's Island and find the treasure. He came to Bristol and set up headquarters at the Spyglass Tavern, which was handed to the docks. There he became firm friends with the tavern keeper, a certain Long John Silver. Is Squire Trelawney here? Ah, you must be Dr. Livesey. He's been expecting you. <laughs> and this must be Master Hawkins. I was going to sail as cabin boy on a certain important vessel, so it is rumoured. The uh, squire's down at the doxing, the stores are put aboard. Would it please you to take a, a glass of porter? Uh, two porters for the gentleman. Over here, sir. Here's a, here's a nice, quiet little corner. <laughs> Ah, looking at my peg leg, are you? <laughs> I lost me real one under Admiral Hawks when we routed the Frenchies at Quiperon. <laughs> oh, you'll see plenty of one legged mariners when you take to the sea, my boy. <laughs> As for my parrot, he's, uh, he's called Captain Flint after that infamous buccaneer. <laughs> Speak up, Captain, but don't say anything that might offend the doctor. Peter the mate, Peter the mate, help our and Enough, the squire's been very pleased to lodge with you, Mr. Silver. Oh, he's a fine gentleman, the squire. A noble mind and very high principled. And I don't mind saying he's shown remarkable judgment in his choice of a ship. Sound and seaworthy, the Hispaniola, with plenty of room for uh, such cargo as we might happen to pick up in the tropics, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Bring up, Doctor. Look, a black dog. What? Black hole? It was one of Flint's men. He was on the raid that night. Get that man! One of Flint's men in my tavern! Come over and follow that swab and bring him back here, will you? Let go of me. No, no, no. He might get hurt. Come, look lively there. Yeah, I can find him. Let go of me. No, no, no. The docks is no place for a young lad like you to be running around. They'll leave it to Tom Morgan and the doctor. But they don't know him, and he's got a price on his head. Has he now? Oh. Oh. oh it's a thundering disgrace to think of a, a common cutthroat like that sitting here, bold as bright. <laughs> you, the squire told me what a mess they made of your poor man's place. I'd like to see them hang the whole lot of them. And rightly, too. Them buccaneers bring a disgrace on the old seafaring profession. That's right. Ah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but never you mind, Master Hawkins. They'll take care of him. <laughs> I must say I'm, uh, I'm glad to be sailing along with you on your first voyage of adventure. I, I, I'm the cook, you know. <laughs> oh, the things we'll see. The port of the Spanish main, with the men of war laden with gold to the bullocks, and the nights in the tropics when the old sea glows of phosphorus, like it were blanketed with pearls. <laughs> ah, there's nothing in the world like the sea, my boy. All the wonder and wickedness of men fades, besides the majesty and mystery of Neptune's kingdom. <laughs> Can you dance the own pipe yet? No, I can't. Not dance the own pipe! Crikey! Better not let the men hear that. Here, who's going to teach this young man about to dance the own pipe like a proper tar, eh? 
<laughs> can't touch the old fiber, blimey. We can't have that nap. No, 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 we can't. I'll show him, Israel. Come on, come on. Come on. Are you willing to take? <laughs> uh, strike up a nice pot tune on that, uh, that play for yours. Yeah. You watch him, boy. Israel hands is the best dancer of the <laughs> away in the crowd. I know that was Black Dog. I know it was. I told you he'd get away. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ah, oh, oh. Well, look here, but, Silver. Are all these men with us or aren't they? Aye, aye, sir. To a man, oh, all oh, present oh, and correct. Oh. Except, of course, your uh, Captain Smollett. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have an announcement to make. Ah, uh, uh, shut the door there, Tom. Gather on, mates. The Admiral's got something to tell you. I have been the word to anyone, have I? I mean, about the M.A.P. Of course not, sir. I gave you my nerve. Good lad, good lad. Absolutely essential to the whole thing secret. Well, men, I may as well tell you, since you've signed on for this voyage, that the Hispaniola is fully provisioned, and God willing, we set sail tomorrow by the morning tide. Hey! Hey! Well, that's news to cheer you out of any seaman. It calls for drinks all round. Drinks on the hour. Hey! And a toast, a toast to the Hispaniola and the Admiral. Hey! Your crew. Indeed they are. I selected them myself. Oh, with Long John's help, he's been invaluable. But Silver seems to have a very good idea of what the whole voyage is about. Don't talk puffy cock liver say Not a single one can have the foggiest. Ah, oh, drink up a lot of you. And here's wishing a fair voyage and success to the Hispaniola. <laughs> and while we're about it, Features for the Admiral. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> My dear fellow, oh, quite uncalled yes, for. Yes, yes. <laughs> hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! And up she rises, hooray. 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 And up she rises, hooray.